And I just love that scripture because it admits that we all have faults and then, and then it is God given, God given faults. And, um, it can't be straightened or, and if it can, who should be doing that? Like it's both about acceptance and trying to help people straighten the crookedness that we all inevitably have, but also accepting it. So I love the dual purpose of that scripture, both accepting faults and trying to help other people. Well, and who's to say it's not better crooked? Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I know every scripture has got a million ways you can interpret it. And that one, I love the way it's open for interpretation. And it's why it works great with biology when you're teaching students the nature of life. There's lots of crookedness in life. And um, God's handiwork can't always be straightened. And sometimes it can. And then you have to ask, should we be straightening it? Yeah. Should it be messed with? Mm-hmm. And so I, I love that one to bring up my class. And we just talked about that this week. So which is a benefit of the Catholic school. I can talk about that and not worry that I'm going to get canned. Talk about what? Religion? Yeah, I can pull out. A I mean, you have to, right? Well, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it part of the know, curriculum? <laughs> um, they definitely <laughs> there is definitely a religion class. But as the biology teacher, <laughs> like I don't have to, but I can if I want. Mm-hmm. It seems fear. like the theme. Yeah, (laughs) it is. It is. Julianne, do you have any scriptures? I do. I want to start by saying I think there's a scripture for almost anything you want. If you really look, there's a lot of stuff in there. But this is one of my favorites Um, to always welcome the stranger and offer hospitality because you may be entertaining angels unawares. And I really like that one because I feel like every person you meet is an important person. And, it, and they might not be important to you, but they're important to someone else. And so you have to treat that person with respect and kindness and, and favor, just like you would your own family, because they're someone's family and everyone deserves that kind of respect. So Joanne, you are bringing the wisdom. Zoom. Listen, this is what I'm working on right now, especially with my own mindset, is that seeing every relationship, every encounter through my day as an opportunity right like you don't know where it could lead you don't know who they are so as you say like that person is an angel we are all divine humans and we've we were just talking about the wealth gap and how it's the biggest it's ever been right now and through that i feel like our humanity has become lost and when we take ourselves out of that ego and out of the comparison game that we've been in for so long and we actually remember we are all divine souls in these human bodies and we all have the capacity to love and maybe circumstances have shifted that but there's always that common thread of love through humans and it's not easy to do I mean one thing that my mom said to us all the time when we were if we would come home with a story about a kid from school or somebody who was really hard to get along with or we didn't like them she would always say remember the people that need the love most are the ones that are hardest to love and that always used to drive me crazy because I was just like, rawr, rawr, rawr. she doesn't <laughs> even know. Rawr, rawr, rawr. But usually she was right. Like when I reflect on that now, the mm-hmm. people who were the worst to me had stuff going on, personal yep. stuff or family mm-hmm. stuff or things that I did not have going on. I had a very charmed life, you know, which I am thankful for and appreciative of. And maybe not at that time, but when I reflect on it now, totally appreciative of that. 